Hey everybody, it's Chris Symmetric here from TDW Woodworks. Um, one of the things I find myself doing, whether it be uh, a yearly calendar, drawings that I've done, uh, plans, or uh, you know, documents that I want to save, I'm running over to the copy center quite a bit to get binding. I do just simple comb binding. It's pretty cheap, but it's the the pain of going over there to get more, like maybe doodle instructions or some plans that I've written. Um, so to keep things organized and neat and uh, looking good on the shelf, I ended up going to look for a binding machine. Uh, something simple like a Fellows Comb Binder. There wasn't a whole lot on YouTube, so I thought I'd do a quick video of the Fellows uh, Pulse Star 300 that I got. 300 meaning it could do up to 300 documents. Um, it's a manual comb binder and I thought I would show you what I got and show you the process and how to set it up and to use it and uh, uh, give you what I just really couldn't find for myself really easily online. So when I ordered it, I also ordered some of these binding covers and uh, it's just a nice clear a sheet that goes over the top of your document it makes it look professional and along with that uh, you need some uh, covers and, and backs and I just really use some cardstock I've got lots of different colored cardstock and uh, it fits the document you want if you're doing half size you can cut them in half uh, then of course you need something to buy and there's a calendar for 2017 I got myself some drawings and some instructional uh, uh, documents there You'll want to have different binding combs of sizes, um, depending on how many documents you're going to do. So I, I got a set of each, depending on whether I'm doing 2 to 20 or 300. You want to make sure you got some good binding combs. And of course, the binder. It's a nice heavy unit. This is by Fellows. It's the Pulsar 300. It's all opened up and ready to go. On the side, there's a little drawer for storage as well as a little sizing chart. If you don't want to count out your documents, you can just set them in here and it gives you an idea of uh, how many sheets of paper it is. So I start out by just creating the document with the front and the back and uh, get an idea of what it's going to look like. And then I like to do just the back and the cover and I'll cut these. You just basically set it, it's got to be level and then. Push your hand handle down and it'll cut all of the holes for the, uh, the comb. Neat. And then go ahead and make sure everything's all level and set the documents in there. No more than 10 or 12 sheets at a time. And make the cut. There it is. All ready to go. They're nice and even. And I'll put the back on there and the cover on there. And now it's time to put the comb in. Now you drop the comb in with the uh, little tags pointing towards the back and use the lever on the side to open them up. A little tricky but you want to make sure you can get the uh, holes lined up with the tags, close it up and there's your document right there. And it opens up nice and neat. The uh, openings are towards the back so it should open with no problem when it gets snagged. And here's a little close-up with a better contrast. I'm cutting the uh, cover in the back. I put my documents in there. I make my cut. And do that several times because it's a thicker document. Make sure the comb are facing towards the back. And you use the handle there on the side and open up the little uh, comb so there's some slots all pointing ready to go. You set your document in there. Again, it's a little tricky at first. You'll get more and more used to it. Wiggle it and make sure they all go in there nice and neat. And they pop their heads through there. And close her up. And there you go. That's your document. Pretty slick. The side is the tray for clean out. And within a few minutes, we made some nice, neat documents. Pretty slick. So hopefully this helps you out. I think it was a great purchase. I'm using it more than I thought I would. Instead of making those runs to the copy center, it makes a lot more sense to have one of my own. I think I paid about 100 bucks for it. Um, there was a lighter version of it that only did 150 and there was a bigger one that had electricity, but I couldn't justify the $200 price for that. So I think I paid about 100 bucks for this. It's a Fellows Pulsar 300 for 300 sheets, and uh, it's a manual one with a handle. 
So if you're thinking about getting one, I would definitely recommend it. I really en have enjoyed using it. And uh, it's a good way of kind of keeping all my um, stuff organized and all of my drawings together on a shelf and all of my manuals and any instructional uh, things that I'm making um, available if I'm going to sell them or whatnot. So anyways, you have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks and I hope that doesn't put you into a bind. Bye.